Now we are coming to the Atlantic Ocean Road. Oh, a deer. What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean. Today we are camping uh, right below Trollstigen, the Trolls Ladder, Norway's most famous road. That was amazing yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. And today's plan is to head for probably the second most known road, the Atlantic Ocean Road. Ah. Uh, it's a road that goes all the way out to the coast. And uh, you've probably seen it with these windy bridges crossing the islands. Mm. Um, but that's unfortunately the last thing on this, uh, this part of uh, the season. Uh, in Norway. In Norway, yes. Yeah, together. Because uh, <laughs> we are heading home today. Yeah. Unfortunately. But fortunately, home is in Norway, so <laughs> it's not too sad. But I guess we just got to get on the road. The weather looks decent today. Yeah. Or like some gray skies or clouds. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's uh, just get on the bike before the rain starts. Yes. <laughs> the first stop today is uh, another troll thing. <laughs> it's, uh, Norway is full of, of uh, all these troll mountain thingies. Oh, that's a really cool car. The area we're in now is uh, called Ondalsnes. Uh, Ondalsnes city is just uh, a couple of minutes from here. And uh, it is the home of, uh, well, three, three troll mountains. The Trolls Road that we just went to, the Trolls Tind, which is the peak uh, with the, the Trolls Claw uh, mountain, and uh, Trolls Wall, which we are on our way to see right now. Whoa! Hey, you were in a hurry, but uh, didn't do you much good, did it? Here we can see the Trolls Wall appearing. This is uh, a pretty massive, massive wall. It's a pretty crazy, crazy wall. And this is the other side of the mountain we saw the peak of when we were at Trollstegen yesterday. It kind of looks like Mordor when you're driving towards it. It's just like coming towards you, it feels like. Wow. They have a Pelle Pulle <laughs> It also used to be a, a children's show about the talking car. And that's the car. <laughs> Everyone needs their picture with the troll. I know the the camera does not do this justice. It's uh it doesn't look nearly as impressive on camera as it does in real life. <laughs> Here we have the troll's wall. Yeah. Uh another troll thing. It's amazing. <laughs> And it kind of looks like uh, a like fortress. A, yeah, kind of like a Mordor kind of fortress. Like yeah, a, look at this. <gasps> so ominous. This is the, uh, is it the world's or Europe's? I think it's Europe's tallest uh, vertical cliff. Yeah. And from where we're standing now to the top, up there, is uh, 1,700 meters. Wow. And. It is a 1,000 meter sheer cliff yeah. down to the to the um, scree. Pretty impressive. This wall was scaled for the first time uh, by two competing teams, one uh, Norwegian and one British, and they scaled it with the uh, one day in between them. So the Norwegian team came first, and then the mm -hmm. British team came one day after. Yeah. Uh, in 1965. And in 1980, 
the first person base jumped from here. <laughs> yeah. But then in 1986, uh, the Norwegian government banned base jumping because uh, there were too many accidents. Oh yeah. But then uh, in the 90s, uh, people still were jumping off. Yeah. But uh, you can get uh, a really, really high fine if you yeah. if you jump off here now. The first first fine ever given was about three thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. For jumping off, but now it's much higher. Wow. <laughs> It's really, really, really impressive. You don't yeah. really it's notice like, it when it's you're... It's black and, and ragged. Yeah, so this is a gneiss. The, the rock type is gneiss. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is a rock type formed under high pressure yeah. and high heat. Wow, um, so cool. And it's sort of characterized by these uh, vertical lines that you yeah. see. Uh, and here's like a little square tower thing. It really looks like someone built it. <laughs> and they're behind there and watching you like the wall for a kingdom. Yeah. An evil kingdom. <laughs> so An cool. evil kingdom or uh, are trolls evil? No. <laughs> so you you cool. can't really grasp the scale of it when you see it on, on camera. Can you? No. But it's, uh, it's massive. Yeah. Wow. Imagine 1,700 meters, more than a kilometer and a half up to the top. <laughs> You seen the we, we saw the Norwegian movie Troll, remember? Yeah. Uh, that opens by a climber and his daughter climbing this wall ah, and it's here. sitting up up top there. Ah, that's here. Yeah. Okay. Watching over the the Troll Mountain, talking about uh, the legends of trolls. Yeah. And uh, she, the, his daughter, thinks it's just a legend. Yeah. And then suddenly, when she's an adult, the trolls wake. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up and uh, <laughs> you can hear them walking around the, the mountains. It's a nice movie. <laughs> Very Norwegian. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow. <gasps> this is the road we rode yesterday past Gudbrands Juve, the, the waterfall in the gorge, and then up the mountain <laughs> to Trollstigen, Trolls Ladder, which is here. And then we camped about here last night, and now we drove here around the bend to <laughs> Troll's Wall, which is here. And now we're going to continue up through Ondalsnes, around East Fjorn, and out to the coast. Now let's uh, head back to Ondalsnes, and then continue around the Ice Fjord towards the Atlantic Ocean Road and now it is uh, no more mountains like this instead we're gonna see a coastal landscape which is also very beautiful but very different now we're coming down into Ondalsnes city center Ondalsnes is a, it's a really cute little town and Apparently, the name comes from two farms that used to be here, uh, Ondal and Nes. And uh, Nes is a farm dating back to about 1350. Uh, it's mentioned in the in the sort of land scribing books from the 1300s. So it's, uh, people have been living here for quite uh, for quite some time. Nes in Norwegian is uh, this sort of. Uh, kind of semi-peninsula kind of thing uh, and this is a sort of a semi-peninsula it's like a sandbank that the whole uh, city is built on uh, that sort of uh, sticks out into the ice fjord this place in winter is magical it's really really beautiful and in World War II uh, this was the landing site of uh, a lot of British soldiers that came to defend Norway in April of 1940 uh, but a couple of days later the Germans started bombing this whole city and every single building except for the train station that building was uh, completely demolished they were bombing for three or four days and they dropped uh, uh, up to 400 bombs per day and everything in the city was leveled and here you see 
there's a cable car that goes up to the top of this mountain and you can see all of the mountains around it. It would be fun to, uh, to take this cable car. And as the soldiers were uh, evacuating, as the British soldiers were evacuating here, they were evacuating back towards Dumbos, which is where the trolls wall in that direction. But the train got derailed by a, a bomb crater. And uh, about, uh, was it 18 soldiers died, I think. Ah, I think I went on the wrong side of the of the railway. We were supposed to be on that road. Oh well, okay. Uh, looking over the fjord here, it looks like there's a, a rainstorm coming. So we had to stop and put uh, my rain suit on and uh, hope we managed to avoid the worst of it. It just uh, turns so quickly. Woke up this morning to sunshine. And the clouds started coming in. Started raining a little bit and then it cleared up. And then now suddenly you can see around us here. It's really, really raining. And this looks like it's gonna be uh, lasting for a while. Wow, look at that. That's, uh, that's the dangers of the, the mountains. There can be a uh, terrible weather waiting in the valley <laughs> and if the wind is blowing in the right direction it's gonna come for you <laughs> well it was a smart decision to put my rain suit on but maybe a smarter decision to close it <laughs> I forgot to close my rain suits. It doesn't really do much good when it, when it's open. There. That probably helps a lot. Now this is the ice fjord. So we have to go around this fjord now. Uh, and back on the other side. And then around out towards the coast. Oh, this is interesting. Here it's uh, completely dry. This uh, hasn't rained at all. You can see over there in the city, it's pouring down. Now we're heading back towards it. This place in winter is fascinating. This, this ice fjord, uh, parts of it, if not the whole fjord sometimes, freezes. And it looks really, really cool. Now we've entered the rain again. <laughs> this is kind of fascinating. Here it's completely dry again. Wow, this weather is so strange. You have Onval snares on the other side, and then the valley with the uh, troll's walls behind it. have to take another ferry. Uh. Cool! Another ferry. Here comes a bunch of other bikers too. And then we go underneath the sea again. Right. 
Then we come out on the other side. Suddenly, the sun came out. And it's blue skies. Just uh, in, in five minutes, it went from rain to blue skies. This is so strange. Now we are coming to the Atlantic Ocean Road. This is a road that every everyone who drives in Norway wants to ride. It's just a few kilometers, but you see these bridges jumping between uh, the islands here. When you see tourist brochures from Norway, you can bet that this road is uh, pictured in all of them. So now we're all the way out by the coast. Here you have the famous bridge. Pictured in all the travel magazines. <laughs> It is really beautiful there. Well, that was the Atlantic Ocean Road. Really, really uh, beautiful, but very short. It's kind of uh, anticlimactic. Uh, everyone rides the whole country to get here. And it's just like two kilometers, <laughs> two bridges. But the view is really nice. So it is fun. But now I think it is time for us to find camp. Uh, we, we were supposed to uh, ride all the way home tonight today but uh, again we were too slow uh, so we have to uh, we have to find camp for one more night we're about uh, three and a half four hours away from uh, Trondheim right now and it is uh, seven o'clock so we don't really feel like uh, like riding uh, until the evening but now <laughs> we were really lucky the weather cleared up for right when we uh when we drove across the road and uh, now one kilometer after <laughs> it starts raining that's typical i guess lucky for us maybe we can sleep in here looks like there's a road leading into the forest Let's see. Doesn't smell the best here. <laughs> Farmer has been sprayed is filled with shit. Oh, that's not a bad place. What's going on up here? Oh! A deer! That was beautiful. It's quite muddy. I'm not sure this is a good place. It's gonna get wet and muddy. Ah oh, well, okay, let's keep looking. I just realized I camped here in 2021. 
the summer of 2021. I think I thought this lake looked familiar and I looked at the picture from here and it's right next to it. I think the entrance was, was it here? But this guy is blocking the road. Uh, I'm sure it was here. Let's go around him. Let's just see. Yeah, I recognize this, uh, this road. <laughs> it was definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. Oh yes, this is where it was. This is perfect. <laughs> How about camping here again? Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. Can you get off? This is not a bad place, is it? No, it's really nice. So the lake and everything. It's beautiful. On my first trip around Norway, I camped here. I think it was the day I destroyed my friend's girlfriend's bike. Oh. That was uh, an embarrassing moment. Oh. My uh, my uh, pants got stuck, got hooked on my uh, my foot peg, and. I just tipped over and I tipped over into her bike which she was about to sell and then I cracked her cl clutch and so she couldn't drive it. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I felt so 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 bad. Oh I still feel bad. But I found a really nice camp spot that time which was here. Imagine all the adventures that were ahead of you. Yeah, we're just fuck, sitting here, a lot of things has happened. Not knowing what then. would happen. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, let's set up camp. Yeah. We set up camp just in time. Now it's really rainy. <laughs> a little bit protected under the. Here. What the hell? It's just too cloud above <laughs> the tent. Blue skies here. Almost. Yeah. Blue patches. It's like half, half. If we stand there, I think it's okay. <laughs> and pouring down here. This weather today has been, and uh, in the last few days, have been it's crazy. It's been really crazy. Yeah. Oh. But today was a fun day. Yeah, I like Some the beautiful troll views again. Yeah. yeah. Troll was. Uh, it was really cool. It was fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode too. If you did, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to see what uh, happens next. And now, tomorrow, we are just uh, heading back to town, basically, back to Trondheim. Yes. And uh, I'm dropping you off, um, rearranging some stuff. I need to uh, uh, get some, some stuff in order, and then I head north to uh, Bjerkvik to do a talk for the Military Veterans Motorcycle Club. That's going to be really fun. Yeah, you will meet some interesting people. Definitely. Um, and then I'm going from Bjerkvik all the way down to Copenhagen. And then I come. Where I meet you again. Yes, just two weeks uh, also. Yeah. So, there's uh, more adventure coming. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned. But it's really, really interesting. I just found this place yeah. randomly four years ago in yeah, 2021. Yeah, that's very interesting. Like almost uh, four, four years now? Four years. Oh. To the day almost. Well, yes, just yeah, one actually, month, same to the day, day, one month. To the day. Yeah. That's really strange. And, and then now we are here. Yeah. I said, I just, we, we were looking for camp. We were driving around looking for camp. We looked like we tried so many different places. Like five, six different places. And it was like not really okay. Like in people's backyard and stuff. So that's not really okay. Mm. And then I saw this lake. We were driving past it. And I was like, this looks familiar. <laughs> and I just had to go and see where I, I know I took a picture of a sunset. Yeah. And I was sitting here enjoying yeah. my beer. Yeah. 
and uh, the geotag on it said just like 50 meters from where, <laughs> where, where I checked. I was like, well, well, I guess that's our camp. That was one of the first episodes because it's just a few hours away from home. Yeah, that was uh, um, my first tour around Norway. Ah, it was not like season one. No, it, it was, was Norway. pre-season one, basically. Oh, wow. <laughs> so oh. I, did a, I, did a, I did a tour around the southern parts of Norway yeah. at that time too. Yeah. Um, mo a lot of the, the same roads that we were riding yeah. now. But just for myself. It was yeah. like right after my accident, right after yeah. everything had gone to shit in my life. Yeah. And uh, I had just gotten back on the bike, kind of. Yeah. So that was... Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. You can go back and watch that on the <laughs> channel if you want, if you haven't seen it. It's been a long way since. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I made a, a huge mistake as well. I, I still feel so, so bad for that. I'm so, so sorry, Elias. Fuck, it's full of gnats here now. Yeah. But I hope you've forgiven me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Peace.